The news of the return of NCIS has been welcomed with open arms by the fans. Though the fans have the urge to watch the 20th installment, they have no clue about what will be featured in the new season. Well, Wilmer Valderrama, who plays Nick Torres, didn't want the fans to stay in darkness for long. Through his Instagram stories, he was able to hint at something about the show. In today's video, we are looking at the fans' debate about the show. First, let's dig into Wilmer Valderrama's hint about the show. On July 14th, the actor posted behind-the-scenes footage of the NCIS cast preparing to begin production. Wilmer was joined by other CBS performers, Sean Murray, Brian Dietzen, Diona Reasonover, and Katrina Law in the minute-long Instagram video. Though the cast of the procedural drama shouted over each other, the 70s show alum effectively summarized the group's message. NCIS is back for season 20, Wilmer stated in the clip. We're back on set. We are overjoyed. You've been warned. We're going to do things things you've never seen before on NCIS, and we'll surprise you along the way. Get ready. See you on September 19th." The message clearly stated that Wilmer and his team were ready for the renewal of another season of the show. Stay tuned to know more about the unfolding scene. Following on, let's see what the fans had to say about Wilmer's clue. Fans flocked to the comment section after witnessing the NCIS ensemble reconnect and provide a sneak glimpse of what's to come. Oh my gosh, really very excellent news. So excited. Love it, one user remarked. Yes, I'm ecstatic. Have fun filming everyone, I can't wait for season 20," said another. I'm delighted it didn't finish with Mark leaving, another fan said. However, not everyone in the NCIS fans agreed. Unsurprisingly, only one name came to mind, Gibbs. As fans are aware, actor Mark Harmon left the show at the start of season 19 last year. While there had been reports about him departing, many fans anticipated he would return as a guest star during the season. However, this did not occur. Fans, however, remain optimistic. Is Gibbs coming back? One fan wondered. Can't wait, but is Gibbs there too or what? Someone other asked. I hope Gibbs will be on some," said another. Since his character was last seen blissfully fishing in a river, showrunner, executive producer Stephen D. Binder hasn't ruled out the possibility of Gibbs returning. He revealed details about the process to TV Insider. There's always headroom for him to return. I think it just has to be the proper tale to get him enthused about it and to get us thrilled about it," he told the site. It's a card to play, and I don't think we want to play it cheaply. I believe that when we do play it, it must be the correct thing. Until then, we'll be checking out the rest of the NCIS cast's Instagram accounts for more behind-the-scenes photographs to tide us over. Who knows, we might just see Mark slash Gibbs wandering about in the background. Next up, what is the possibility of Torres' death during the crossover? Torres' appearance in NCIS Hawaii has led some viewers to speculate that the character will be written out of the show at some point. Fans have been speculating during the entirety of season 19 that Balderrama may be leaving the show. The speculation had contributed to the spread of the idea that he will be leaving the show at some point in the near future. Some people make reference to the character's strange behavior. Who could forget how he rudely blew off Jessica for drinks after work in the episode Fight or Flight, and then his response to McGee, who suggested he wanted to get himself killed in the cage fighting storyline, to which he replied, yeah, so who's left to care, man? As we know, the character has had to deal with those he loves and respects. Moving away, with Eleanor and Gibbs' departure hitting him hard, some people suggested he could be set for a move to Hawaii full-time with potential being Torres's downfall. Whilst participating in an interview that was later published on the network's Instagram account, Wilmer Valderrama wistfully looked out over the beach and said that that was the most beautiful place he had ever been shot at. This led to viewers of the show speculating that Torres will leave the show sooner rather than later, and the showrunner also suggested that the upcoming season will be a little darker for the character, saying that he believes that we will go pretty darker with Torres. How do you guys plan to make up for everything that's happened? Following on, Wilmer's sad story of his life. Wilmer shared some tragic news on Instagram. The NCIS star announced that his father Balbino suffered a heart attack on Father's Day. Though fans are relieved to hear that he is on the mend, Balderrama issued a statement online, saying how he drove him to the hospital himself, fearful that it would be their last day together. The actor questioned whether he had shown his father enough affection, and described how his father had sacrificed all to provide us with the American ideal. It was a heartfelt homage to his father, whom he went on to praise for teaching him to love people and never give up on them, to be of service to them. Though knowing that sometimes it may leave you practically empty, with an understanding that serendipitously left a place for more blessings and light, the light that you share endlessly. But given the fact that his father survived, he went on to thank God for letting us all have him for more run. Wilmer's news came with an outpouring of love for the actor, with Ferrara saying, Sending you and you papa love, brother love you amongst others. Valderrama, who lives close to his parents, spoke about how he was taught that we all kind of stick together out here because we don't really know anyone, which is pretty great. Next up, Wilmer ventures in a new business. Wilmer Valderrama and former NBC Universal executive John Pollock have started a new firm, which Latinos across the industry are excited about. The affiliated management group will concentrate on cooperating with and representing fresh Latina talent as well as established voices in the business. Both men bring a
a wealth of experience to the company, with Pollock focusing on day-to-day -day operations due to Valderrama's continued involvement. The company already has a slew of talent to represent, ranging from Donna Media, run by Mary Ordinetta and Liliana Moyana, who created Amazon's Maradona Blast Dream, to Tutti Lure, who is behind CNN Searching for Mexico, starring Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria. Valderrama joins other actors who have made the transition to management, and Pollock was quoted as saying recently, Latino talent has traditionally been relegated to the Latin America arm of major Hollywood companies, but thanks to an exciting industry shift, bolstered by the rise of global streaming platforms, they are now a significant part of the general U.S. market. Our objective will be to elevate current talent and seek new voices who can help develop content that is trustworthy to all audiences, especially the 20% demographic consumers who identify as 100% American and 100% Latino. Well, Valderrama also went on air to emphasize how essential it is for Latinos to have representation and to see themselves on film. How cool is that? Moving on, what do the show's editors have to say about the continuity error? While we wait for season 20 to premiere, one fan has been watching the show to prepare. He spotted some rather obvious continuity errors going back to season 2. During the season, the team was called in to investigate the death of a Marine who had gone from a cliff while recording a sunrise. After NCIS members suspected that it was a crime, the Marine's best friend was questioned. However, one keen observer spotted something unusual during the scene. When Gibbs sits down to question the subject, the man's hands are on the table, according to the fan. When the camera cuts to Gibbs sitting down, you can see in the mirror that the sergeant's hands aren't on the table. It may appear to be a trivial error because it is typical in most TV shows. Although some fans may not care about a basic continuity problem, others have claimed that it is the editing team's responsibility to spot such errors and prevent them from occurring. Some followers believe the fan had too much time on his or her hands. So what do the editors think about this blunder? Finally, some sad news about the cast Gregory. Gregory, who appeared in a few episodes of the show, died. Charlie, the director, was played by Gregory. Despite the fact that his appearances on the show occurred 17 years apart, he has also played Mike's father in episodes such as 24 and Friends. It was reported that he died as a result of complications from a recent surgery. Concerning his health, it was found that he had been suffering from health issues for a number of years. He experienced a massive heart attack in 2015. May his soul rest in peace. Well, that's the end of today's show. Hope you liked it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below on your way out. Thanks for watching.